Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Learn with Sumi. In this video, we are going to find the angle between given pair of curves. The, the curves are R square sin 2 theta is equals to 4 and R square is equals to six, uh, 16 sin 2 theta. Okay, so I'll write down the curves here again. Okay, R square sin 2 theta is equals to 4 and here R square is equals to 16 sin 2 to theta what do we do first we take log on both sides log on both sides first so this becomes log r square sine 2 theta is equals to 4 similarly here log on both sides so log r square is equals to log 16 sine 2 theta we know that log a into b is nothing but log a plus log b and log a power b is nothing but b log a right so using these two expansions using these two formula we are going to expand this both equation so here i can write it as log r square plus log sine 2 theta is equals to log 4 okay so this was 4 I had to take log 4 here itself but I forgot sorry for that here log r square is equals to log 16 plus log sine 2 theta okay now what can we do oh, now we the next step is differentiate with respect to theta so before that before that here as i have given this formula we have to expand that expand with respect to this formula right here here we have log r square so before this we have to do 2 log r plus log sine 2 theta is equals to log 4 here also 2 log r is equals to log 16 plus log sine 2 theta. Correct. Now we will differentiate with respect to theta. Same here as well. Differentiate with respect to theta. So 2 into log r is what? 1 by r dr by d theta plus 1 by sine 2 theta differentiation of log sine 2 theta is 1 by sine 2 theta and differentiation of sine 2 theta is what 2 cos 2 theta is equals to differentiation of a constant is 4 is a constant right so it is going to be 0 here 2 into 1 by r dr by d theta is equals to 0 plus 1 by sine 2 theta into 2 cos 2 theta okay now 2 into cot phi 1 is equals to I'll take this on the other side of the equation minus 2 cos 2 theta divided by sine 2 theta this is going to become cot 2 into cot phi 2 is equals to 2 cos 2 theta divided by sine 2 theta 2 and 2 will get cancelled 2 and 2 will get cancelled here cot phi 1 is equals to minus cos phi sin is cot right so cot 2 theta so phi 1 is nothing but minus 2 theta and cot phi 2 is equals to cos by sin is cot 2 theta so phi 2 is nothing but 2 theta correct so now angle of intersection we need to find angle of intersection between curves is given as what modulus of phi 1 minus phi 2 is equals to this is minus 2 theta and this is 2 theta so minus 2 theta is equals to modulus of 
minus 4 theta which is 4 theta. Correct? So can I write it as we already have these two equations, right? Consider this as 1 and this as 2. And this one as pi 1 minus pi 2 equals to 4 theta. We will keep it this as our third equation. Sorry. We will keep this as our third equation. Now, we know that from 1 and 2. Okay. What is our 1? R square sine 2 theta is equals to 4. And R square is equals to 16 sine 2 theta. So, here we can find the r square value here so r square is nothing but equal to 4 divided by sin 2 theta so consider is 1 and 2 now we can equate this both 4 by sin 2 theta is equals to nothing but 16 into sin 2 theta correct now what i can do is 4 by 16 is equals to sine square 2 theta. 4 ones are 4, 4 four are 16. This is going to become 4 are 16. So, I will take 4 the other side. Now, can I write this? Can I write this as, sorry. Uh, can I write this as like 4, 4, sine square 2 theta equals to 1. Okay. Now, sine square 2 theta is equals to 1 by 4. Now, sine 2 theta is nothing but root of 1 by 4. And now, sine 2 theta, if I just remove the square root, I will do... Uh, square root of 1 by 2 Ro uh, root 4 is what 1 by 2 correct so this so 2 theta is nothing but sine inverse of 1 by 2 now 2 theta sine inverse of 1 by 2 is pi by 6 so here this implies this implies theta is equals to pi by 12 okay so from our equation 3 this here angle of intersection okay is 4 theta theta is what pi by 12 so 4 into pi by 12 4 ones are 4 4 threes are 12 so angle of intersection angle of angle of intersection is nothing but pi by 3 Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, do not forget to share it, with, share it with your friends. Subscribe to my channel, like it and if you have any doubts, just comment it in the comments section. Thank you.